Welcome back to WordPress Made Easy. I'm Dave Swift, and in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the world of page builders for WordPress. Now, page builders have been a part of WordPress for many, many years, but only recently have they become a true what you see is what you get type experience where you have inline editing and the ability to add complex features with drag and drop blocks. Now, there are old school page builders like WP Bakery or Site Origins, and they were revolutionary at the time, but now they're a little bit cumbersome in comparison to a modern page builder. In this video, I'll be talking about Elementor, an extremely popular WordPress page builder that has over 4 million active installations. But this video isn't intended to be a guide on how to use Elementor specifically. If you'd like a full in-depth Elementor course, post in the comments down below and let me know. In this video, I'm gonna show you the fundamentals of page builders in general, so you'll know what to expect when you use one for the first time. Now, I'll be using Elementor to do so, but just don't expect to come away an expert after one short video. All right, so let's go ahead and get Elementor installed. Now I'm logged into the back end of my WordPress website. I'm gonna head down to plugins, add new. Over here in the search bar, I'll go ahead and enter Elementor. Here it is, the first result. You can see it has over 4 million active installations. Installing it's very easy and totally free. I'm just gonna hit install now and then activate. There's a short welcome video. You can watch this if you like. I'm gonna close it out. And now I can tell that Elementor is installed because over on the sidebar, there is the Elementor icon and the words Elementor. Now I can create a new page or post just like I did before by either going over to posts or pages and then choose add new. Let's go ahead and add a new page. Now this looks identical to what we saw before except there's a new button. It says edit with Elementor. If I click this, it opens up the post or the page inside of the Elementor editor. Now I can go ahead and design the page exactly as I want and I'll actually see a real-time rendering of what it looks like. I can lay out text like headlines by clicking on the tabs at the top. I can style them. So let's go ahead and change the text color here from the default blue to maybe more of a red color. Then I can change the typography. There is all of the Google fonts loaded in by default and I can change the size of my headline right here as well. Now let's add some text. I'll drag this text block right over underneath my headline and you can see some lorem ipsum is added here. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this a few times. There, now I've got some placeholder text. Let's go ahead and style this. In the middle tab, I'll click style and I can choose the alignment, left, center, or right aligned or of course justified. For now, I'll leave it on left. I can change the text color. Let's make this a very dark black. And just like with the headlines, I can change the typography. Let's go ahead and make this Montserrat. And how about we make it 18 points? It's easy to add images as well. Let's click on the image widget over here and I'll just drop it underneath. And there is a placeholder for a photo. I can see the images I've already uploaded to my site or I can drag and drop a new one. There's our image. It's a little bit big for my taste. So let's go ahead and resize it. Inside of Elementor, I can change the image size there. That's a medium 300 by 300 image. I can also change how wide it's displaying so that I can get a more precise control over the image. I will mention that using this slider to set the width isn't as optimal as just changing it to a smaller file size like we saw on the previous screen because the file's still going to load. It's just going to be displayed smaller. So it'll actually still slow down your website just a little bit. We can do things like add borders. Let's add a five pixel border here and we'll make it purple in color. Gives me flashbacks to GeoCities and we can add some border radius here as well. Now, if I were to go ahead and publish this, what you're going to see is that the theme settings are going to be totally overridden. Let's go ahead and have a look. So here we go. We have a full width piece of content where I have my headline, my text, and my image displayed just like we saw inside of the editor. Now this is very different than the homepage we have set up where our theme is taking over and choosing most of the style, the fonts, the size of the fonts, and the width of the page is all decided by the theme. When we use a page builder, the page builder overrides the theme as long as you have a theme that supports page builders that is the one that i recommended the free version of astra does this perfectly let me show you a little bit more inside of Elementor. I'm gonna hit edit with Elementor up here. It's gonna relaunch our editor again. Now we've seen a few of these widgets over here on the side. Some of the other ones include buttons. Let's go ahead and drop a button in here. And we get the same sort of styling features that we saw inside of the headlines and the text. Where I can go to style, I can change the button background color, the button text. You get the idea here. I'm not gonna go into a full Elementor tutorial, but I wanna point out that if we go back over to our widgets, these are 
are listed as basic widgets, and these are all included for free. You're gonna get these 10 widgets. If we scroll down a little bit more, you're gonna see a lot more widgets with this pro heading next to it. Now, these also have a little padlock next to them because they're locked up. In order to use these, you're gonna to need to have an Elementor Pro license. Here I am on the Elementor website. You can see that a Pro license is really affordable. It's just $49 a year for a single site. If you have more than one site, there is bulk options available. You can get up to a thousand sites for $200 a year. So it's a really great deal. You do get 30 days to try it out. So they'll refund you if you don't like it after those 30 days. Now I wanna talk just briefly about some of the features that are included if you go up to the Pro version. So let me get that installed. All right, I'm back and I have installed Elementor Pro in the background. Let's go ahead and open up the same page again with Elementor. All right, we're back and now you can see that all of these Pro elements no longer have the padlock alongside of them. There's some really nice features inside of Elementor Pro and I thought I would just point out a few of my favorites so you could decide if this is a good fit for you. Elementor Pro makes it really easy to add in marketing features like a pricing table. So what I'm gonna do here is add in multiple columns first with this inner section and I'll actually go ahead and right click here and choose add new column. Now I've got a three column layout and let's go back to my widgets and I'm gonna add in the pricing table widget under pro. Let's go ahead and drag in one here and then we can actually just copy this, paste it in, paste it in. And just like that, we've got a really nice looking pricing table where you could offer different plans for your products or your services. Let me go ahead and get rid of this button here so it looks a little bit better. And you know what, we can get rid of that image too. One great way to get your customers to take action is of course scarcity or having a sale that ends. Well, there is a countdown timer widget built into Elementor Pro. Adding that is very easy. I can just drag and drop it wherever I want it to go. Now, obviously I probably want to style this a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and go into the style section here and change the background color. Now, the last pro widget I want to show you is the ability to add forms. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add another intersection right here. And maybe I'll move this text up over here. So we have a nice two column layout let's go back to my widgets. And here is the form widget, which I can add in over here. Now this kind of looks like a landing page, right? Where I can collect someone's name, their email address, this has a field for a message, but if I didn't want to have that, I can simply go over to the content and change the types of fields that I've got displayed. You can see they're all listed right here. I can remove one, I can add a new item, and I can change the type of the field if I wanted to have, say, a website or a checkbox or a date. I can choose between any of the options that Elementor makes available. After someone submits the form, I can either get an email to let me know about it or I can connect directly up to something like MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, or ConvertKit. Of course, Elementor is completely mobile responsive. Right now we're looking at the desktop view, but if I wanted to check it out inside of tablet or phone view, I could definitely do that. Down here at the bottom, there's an icon. Right now it looks like a computer screen, but we can go ahead and switch to tablet. And if I just close this little arrow right here, I'll get a preview without any distractions of what the page is gonna look like on tablet. Now maybe this headline is a little bit big. Maybe I want it centered on tablet. It makes more sense on tablet than it does on desktop. Now I'm not saying this is a good design. I know it's, it's hideous looking, but I can have it center aligned on tablet. And then if I switch back to desktop, it'll stay left aligned. Let's go ahead and resize a little bit on tablet mode. And once again, it's gonna retain that information on desktop mode. I can apply unique styling to any element that we've been working with. So if you wanted to hide or show a particular element on mobile or desktop, you can do that. If you wanna resize something only on mobile and leave it larger on desktop, you can do that as well. Let's go ahead and switch over to mobile phone view. And once again, I can resize this headline so maybe it all fits on one line. I'll go under style, typography, then I can type in a value here. Let's make it 22. Text is a little bit big, so we'll do the same thing here. Typography, let's change this to be 14. Now these numbers are definitely huge, so let's click on that and we'll go over to style. If I click down here where it says content, I can choose the digit typography. Let's go ahead and resize this to be 22 as well. We'll go ahead and change the container width back up to 100 so we have a little bit of space between the items. Let's just add a little bit of padding in. All right, so you get the point. We can really, really get particular with the look of the website and you don't have to know any code to make things look the way you want. Now, if you have some design experience, you're gonna be really, really happy to see that you don't need to learn CSS and HTML to get a good looking website. But what if you don't have any design experience? Well, Elementor actually has those of us that are design challenged covered as well. Let me show you what I mean. 
I'm gonna go ahead and create a, another new page here under pages, I'll choose add new. Let's go ahead and open this up with Elementor. And this time, rather than just dragging and dropping my widgets in willy nilly, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this little folder icon over here. Now here we get a set of beautiful templates that Elementor provides. Now, if you only have the free version, you're not gonna be able to access all of them. You can see that quite a few have this pro marking, but if you spend the 49 bucks per year, you will be able to access all of these really, really stylish looking templates. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this landing page for an ebook here. I'll just hit insert and it's gonna be added to my website. Here we go, the whole landing page has been added. All of the images are included. You can see we've got some nice parallax going on here with a background image that stays as I scroll. We've got some nice testimonials. And you know what, the best part is that you can completely customize this. It's what you see is what you get and it's inline editing. So if I wanted to change the price of this book, I can change it to $9.99. I can go up to the top and let's change the names of these testimonials. It will be Tom Smith and Martha Johnson. I can click right here and change the person's photo that's in the testimonial. I can very easily change any element of the design here from colors to typography to even, of course, the book here at the top. I would just click, hit choose image, and I can select a different book that I might already have produced for my own ebook. So templates inside of Elementor are really, really great if you're not a graphic designer. It gives a good launching off point where you can customize things so that they fit your brand and your business. But you know what? That isn't even my favorite part of Elementor. It really, truly is the theme builder qualities where I can actually go ahead and build a new header or footer for the entire website. And that's what the next video is gonna be about. So if you're interested in learning more about Elementor and how it works with WordPress, stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you there.